वेलकम टू स्ट्रक्चर एनालिसिस कोर्स दिस इज यूनिट नंबर वन कंबाइंड डायरेक्ट एंड बेंडिंग स्ट्रेस माय सेल्फ मिस्टर सुरेंद्र नाथ एस जाधव असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर के कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग सिविल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट दिस इज अवर लेसन नंबर सिक्स बिफोर दैट जस्ट रिकॉल what we discuss in lesson number 5 so in lesson number 5 we discuss about the chimney so how can we find out the direct and bending stress uh, induced at the base of the chimney due to the self weight of the chimney as well as the horizontal wind pressure acting on the chimney so there are two type of chimneys first is a circular chimney second is a uh, uh, rectangular or square uh, cross section type of chimney or there are another type uh, classification that rectangular in the elevation and uh, trapezoidal on elevation okay according to our uh, uh, lever arm where the total horizontal force will be acting on the chimney that will be uh, find out differently and uh, bending moment is also changed according to we can calculate the maximum and bend, maximum and minimum resultant stress acting at the base due to this two type of loading now uh, we will discuss dam and specifically rectangular dam so how can we find out the combined and di combined direct and bending stress on rectangle dam in this lesson so all of you know the dam so that uh, the dam is constructed to store the water and that water is for irrigation and power generation purpose the dam is stored uh, water is stored in the dam exert the pressure force on the face of the dam in contact with the water and there are many type of dams but the uh, following uh, two type of dam we generally used we have generally calculate the uh, there are many type of dam but the following type of dams are more important first is the rectangular dam and second is the trapezoidal dam in trapezoidal dam there are two type of trapezoidal dam first is a water face is vertical and second is a water face is inclined okay so you know rectangular dam just like wall second is the uh, trapezoidal dam with water face vertical and third is a trapezoidal dam with water face is inclined so here we we discuss about the rectangular dam so uh, consider one uh, rectangular dam having the water on one side of its side one of the side so h small h is height of the water f capital f is the force exerted by the water on the side of the dam w is the weight of the dam per unit length of the dam capital h is the height of the dam capital h is height of dam small h is height of water small b is the width of the dam w not is weight density of dam and here we are considering only only 1 meter length of the dam the uh, uh, length of the dam is 1 meter for the analysis purpose so here the forces acting on the dams are first force is a water force so water force uh, is the force due to the water in contact with the side of the dam okay so so that force can be calculated by w multiplied by a multiplied by h bar so w multiplied by area here area of the dam is nothing but the width multi, multi, uh, height multiplied by length okay the, here uh, width will not be uh, used in the area because area where the uh, water face is acting water force is acting so water force is acting on the vertical face of the dam there the height is h and length is 1 and h bar is the 
total force is acting at the h by 2. So, area A is h multiplied by 1 and h bar is nothing but the h by 2. So, total force due to the water is nothing but the W h square divided by 2. So, so W is the weight density of water multiplied by h is the height of water that square divided by 2. So, that force is acting at the h by 3 from the base and that direction of the that force will be horizontally on the uh, one side of the dam. So, second type of load acting on the dam is self weight of the dam that is the W. So, self weight we can calculate the weight density of dam multiplied by volume of the dam. So, weight density is nothing but the W naught. It depends upon the weight density of material which is used to uh, uh, constructed the dam. So, W naught is weight density of, of that material multiplied by volume means area multiplied by length. So, area is B multiplied by H multiplied by length is 1 meter. So, W naught multiplied by B multiplied by H multiplied by 1. So, self weight of the dam will be acting downward in direction and passing through the CG of the dam. In figure you can see, so G is the CG of the rectangular dam and the W is the weight which is acting downward and this is passing through the CG of the dam. The resultant force of these two forces can be calculated by the law of uh, parallelogram of the forces. Here in the figure you can see, so if is the force acting on the uh, right hand side acting on the dam okay and that extended to uh, through the uh, dam and uh, also uh, self weight of the dam is uh, acting downward and extended in downward side here you can see w is on downward side if in on right hand side and uh, the parallelogram is created here. The force F is produces in the intersection of the line of action of the weight at O and uh, OC is nothing but the F. We can consider OC is F and OB is W. And complete this rectangle OCDB or ODBC. So, uh, OC represent F force, OB represent W force and the diagonal of this rectangle represent the resultant force R. So, resultant can be calculated by under root F force multiplied by W force and the angle created, uh, angle made by the resultant with the vertical face is nothing but the theta. So, that theta can be calculated by tan theta is equal to tan theta is equal to BD opposite side divided by adjacent opposite is BD adjacent is OB. So, F multiplied by W. So, here we can calculate the magnitude and direction of resultant force acting due to these two, two type of forces acting on the dam. So, horizontal distance between W and point where the resultant cuts the base. So, horizontal distance between W means self weight passing uh, cuts the base and resultant cuts the base. So, distance between W cuts the base and resultant cuts the base and that horizontal distance we can calculate that is the x. So, diagonal OD will represent the resultant R extend the diagonal so that the cut the base of the dam at the point M capital M and also extend the OB line which is uh, parallel uh, to the self weight and that also cuts the base at N. So, MN is the distance horizontal distance between the line of action of W force and 
point where the resultant cuts the base. So x is nothing but the distance mn and that can be calculated by using the similar angle or moment of inertia of all forces about point m. So let us see how can we find out this uh, distance small x. So x is nothing but the uh, distance mn and by first method that is similar triangle method. So similar triangle here you can see we have to consider two triangles. So first triangle is OBD and second triangle is O and M. Okay. So here similar triangle here you can see NM. NM divided by ON. NM divided by ON is equal to BD divided by OB. So NM we have to find out NM is X. ON ON is nothing but ON is nothing but H by 3 and BD BD is nothing but the F is the horizontal water force and OB OB is nothing but the W. So from that we can find out the X value that is nothing but F upon W multiplied by H by 3. This is the one type of method. Second type of method is movement of all forces that is the F and W forces about M. So we have to take the movement about M due to these two type of forces. So first force you can you know that a force acting horizontally at a height of H by 3 from the base and W force is acting downward through the CG. Let us take movement about M point. So when we take M, take a moment about M point, so we will get the uh, means F force creates the clockwise moment and W force creates the anti-clockwise moment. So clockwise moment is equal to anti-clockwise moment. Uh, so here you can see F multiply by H by 3 is equal to W multiply by X. So from that you can get the X is equal to F divided by W multiply by H by 3. So by these two methods we can find out the x distance. So next we have to find out the small d distance, the distance between A and M where the resultant cuts the base. So A is the hill of the dam. So distance AM we have to find out that AM is nothing but the small d distance. So AM is nothing but AN plus NM. AN for rectangular dam a n is equal to b by 2 and n m is f divided by w multiplied by h by 3. After adding these two terms you can find out the small d and this resultant force r acting at the m may be resolved into two vertical resolve into vertical and horizontal component at m point. When we uh, resolve this resultant force at m point so we will get the W is the self weight acting at the M point in downward direction and F is a horizontal wind, uh, horizontal water force acting on the M point. In So these are the two components of the resultant force. So vertical component is W and horizontal component is F. So vertical component W acting at M on the base of the dam is an eccentric load because CG is at N point and uh, W is on the right hand side of the CG. So that W is not passing through the CG. So that will creates that will creates the bending moment bending moment. And uh, this is nothing but the eccentric load. So it eccentricity of the vertical component W is nothing but the NM. So NM is the eccentricity. So here Nm is the x. So eccentricity is nothing but Am minus An. Am if we are considering distance from any edge of the dam. So let us consider from left edge to the m distance. So Am minus An we will get the eccentricity that is the 
and m okay so d minus b by 2 that is the x so bending moment about the base is nothing but the w multiplied by eccentricity and uh, bending moment bending stress acting due to this bending moment is m upon i multiplied by y where i is i uh, i is bending moment about the base where the bd cube where length is 1 so 1 multiplied by b cube divided by 12 and y is nothing but the b by 2 plus b by 2 and minus b by 2 maximum y so maximum bending stress uh, is nothing but the sigma b is equal to m upon i multiplied by y so we put the m value is w multiplied by e i is b cube divided by 12 and y is b by 2 so after putting all this value you will get the 6 w e divided by b square and that maximum stress you can uh, you can find at b point because uh, due to the water force uh, maximum stress will be acting at the toe side of the dam that is at b point and minimum stress will be acting at the hill side uh, that is uh, minus 6 w e divided by b square at a point magnitudes are same so these are the procedure how can we find out the maximum and minimum stress at the base of the dam rectangular dam let us solve one example then your uh, doubts and your uh, means how we can find out the uh, stresses at the base that will be uh, resolved okay so let us solve one example uh, on the rectangular dam a masonry dam of rectangle section 20 meter high and 10 meter wide has water up to the height 16 meter on the one side find the pressure force due to the water on 1 meter length of the dam second position of cg center of pressure third the uh, point at which the resultant cuts the base fourth the maximum and minimum stress in intensities at the base of the dam for that we require the weight density of masonry that is 19.62 kilonewton per meter cube also we require the what weight density of water that is 9.81 uh, kilonewton per meter cube so given data here is height of dam capital h is 20 meter width of dam is small b is 10 meter height of water small h is 16 meter weight density of masonry that is w naught is 19.62 kilonewton per meter cube or 9 1900 sorry 19620 newton per meter cube for water weight density is w is equal to 9.81 kilonewton per meter cube 9.81 into 10 raised to 3 newton per meter cube and this is the uh, diagram you have to draw according to our given data so here we have to find out first is a cell fate of the dam so cell fate of the dam w is nothing but the weight of the dam per meter length of the dam so weight of the dam so weight density of masonry multiplied by volume so volume is nothing but the area of dam multiplied by length is 1 so weight density is 19,620 multiplied by 10 is the 10 is the width of the dam multiplied by height is 20 multiplied by length is 1 meter from that we will get the self weight of the dam is 3924 kilonewton second we have to find out the force acting on the vertical face of the dam that force is a horizontal force due to the water so water force f is equal to w a h bar that is nothing but the w h square by 2 so w is the weight density of water so 9.81 multiplied by height is 20 uh, sorry height is uh, 16 square divided by 2 so after putting you will get the uh, pressure force due to water on the one meter length of the dam is 
uh, 1255.68 kilonewton and uh, the location where the total uh, horizontal force due to water will be exert on the dam is h by 3 from the base of the dam that is h is nothing but the 16 divided by 3 that is 5.33 meter from the base so these three values we just calculate that is self weight force due to water and location of force due to water from base so next is the point at which the resultant cuts the base so where resultant cuts the base so x is the distance we have to find out and the x is nothing but the horizontal distance between the line of action of w self weight and point uh, through which the resultant cuts the base so that formula we know that is x is equal to f divided by w multiplied by h by 3 so here f is 1255.68 w is uh, 3924 multiplied by height of uh, water is 16 divided by 3 after putting all value you will get the small x distance that is 1.706 meter and next is eccentricity so eccentricity is nothing but the x distance for the rectangular dam so eccentricity is nothing but 1.706 meter so maximum total stress resultant stress is nothing but sigma max is equal to w divided by b multiplied by 1 plus 6 e divided by b so after putting w value that is self weight of dam b is the width of the dam e is the eccentricity and b is width of the dam after putting all this value you will get the maximum resultant stress that is sigma max is equal to 0 0.794 mega pascal and positive sign indicates compressive stress similarly minimum stress we can find out the w divided by b 1 minus 6 e divided by b so after putting all values you will get the minus 0 0.0925 is the minimum resultant stress so minimum uh, negative sign indicates tensile stress so minimum stress is tensile one i hope you understand all these uh, things related to the rectangular dam how to solve uh, numericals on rectangular dam thank you